Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Today I am taste testing these three um, baked good mixes uh, that are available in Pakistan. I bought this super bundle and I wanted to let you know if it's worth it. So let's try it. Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing the first of the three boxes that I have from Bakersfield. You guys asked me to review these, try them out, so we're going to do them. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. Uh, accident so just try to ignore it even though it's right in the middle of my face but okay. so uh, we decided we'll start with the chocolate chunk soft baked chocolate chunk cookies we still have to try the fudge brownies and the lava cake we thought we'd start with the easy easiest one come on over and we'll show you what we have with us we have two eggs it asks for two egg yolks and 60 grams of butter, which we have weighed here, this is 60 grams and we're going to separate the eggs and open up Apparently they're improving the packaging, they're working on it It's a little... It's not the best, let's just say that So that's the chocolate chunk cookies You can see the chocolate chunks in them That's the mix for it And I'm going to now separate the eggs Honestly, the easiest way to do this is like this. You just have to be able to get your hands wet. Uh, not wet, but dirty. And then you can always wash them again. Because when you put shells in there, then you have the thing of breaking the yolk into the egg white and blah blah blah. Okay, so we have this. Alright, so I've washed my hands now. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but let's see what they've said. We heat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. We've done that already, and we thoroughly combine the softened butter and egg yolks in a bowl. Okay. So our butter is softened, not melted. I mean, how are you supposed to just... I'm not using a beater because generally you don't really need it for it. I mean, I guess you do, but... Do you think I should have used a beater? Maybe... Okay, so it says to mix it with a spoon, so we have a spatula. of this mix now. I mean, I must preface by saying I'm kind of a snob when it comes to food and baking. So, I guess it's, I'm going to keep my expectations low, but that's hard. It's <laughs> uh, mix it with a spoon until a dough forms. If the dough does not seem to be coming together, add half to one tablespoon of milk. So, let me go just get some milk. Okay, so it's not really coming together, so we're going to add a tablespoon of milk and see if we need more. Because it is a little bit dry, even though our measurements are exact. So we put one tablespoon, but it doesn't look like so we're going to add another tablespoon. I know it says half, but I don't think that half would be enough. I think that maybe two tablespoons will be enough. Because no one wants like dry or breaking apart cookies but let's see maybe this will work I think it's a half tablespoon more it's kind of coming together but so let's put a little bit more half okay after two tablespoons of milk okay let's make it even any eight to ten servings i don't even know what that means I said honestly, it uh, looks a lot less than what our my normal recipe would be. Like, and I'm still going to use a scoop because I feel that it somewhat even. I'm not going to fill it up all the way. Okay, so it says two inches apart. We didn't even put it to rest in the fridge because it didn't say to do that. So we're just going to see how they turn out as it is. But so I don't want to take out another. Baking sheets, so I'm just going to try to fit them in on the same. Eleven. Okay, so we got one more than what they said. Because I made them a little smaller. 
मुझसे कोई पूछ रहा था कि why did you get this even though you're such a good baker yourself and you like to bake and I told them you know once in a while you just want something easy to make and you know you feel lazy और आपको उसी वक्त मीठा चाहिए होता है तो it's good to know कि अगर यहाँ local कोई ऐसे products हैं you know have to go buy like Duncan Hines and Betty Crocker for that sort of stuff and it's good to support local businesses let's see how this is uh, it says seven to ten minutes. Or until it's golden brown, so we'll just keep an eye on, put a timer on, and we'll see how they turn out. Houston, we might have a problem. <laughs> okay, so seven, eight minutes. What you can? Um, they kind of collapsed, other than joining together. But the joining together might have been my fault. I do think I had them two inches apart, except for the ones in between. Like in, I think we're gonna pull these out soon. They spread a lot. Uh, this usually has to do with butter. Uh, if your butter is too soft, although mm, our butter wasn't too soft, it was okay. It wasn't melted. But here, I kept it close to the edges. Not all of them, though. They were quite spread. But what matters is how they taste. So I'm gonna leave them here because they're not strong enough to be put on a cooling rack yet. Okay, we have transferred these onto a wire rack and we're just going to let them cool because if we do this now, then they will be completely broken. So we'll be back. Okay, so we're going to taste it. What matters is how it tastes rather than how it looks. That's, this is what it looks like from inside. Looks so Hmm. Good. It's not bad at all. Okay, now I'm nitpicking because for a Pakistani brand, I would say this is really, really good. The chocolate is also good and you get good, big, chunky pieces. It's a little oily and I don't like that it's so spread out. Other than that, these ones are good. box to review from Bakersfield. This is the chocolate fudge brownies. Okay? Packaging has its issues. Like we said, yeah, SEI is a little crush. And today we will try it and we will let you know how this turned out and if it's worth it. So here are my helpers, Amar and Anya, are going to help me make brownies. Aja. Here's what it looks like. It... So we need two eggs and half a cup of vegetable oil. So this says that it's going to, um, it needs to be made in an 8 by 8 square pan and with parchment or baking paper which we have This usually helps pull out the brownies and because it's brownies you don't need to be so perfect with it. Let's see you guys. Good job. Okay, so they said it's just done in five minutes. Are you okay? Mix whole gear here. So let's put it into our pan. Okay, so we put this into our 8 by 8 inch pan. The batter, as you can see, is quite thick. But it's all the edges that are reached. So, Hamaria, we cut them smaller, but they say that you can get 6 or 9 brownies, I guess. We usually get around 12. Okay, we don't make them that big. So, let's put these in the oven and see how they turn out. So, we'll bake them for 18 to 24 minutes. As it says on the box, we're going to try to follow it as closely as possible. And then we'll taste test and tell you if these are worth it. So, we pull these out. I had to pull them out um, at around 15 minutes. Because I think it's just in the box, it's like 18 to 24, a little bit. It gets a little dry. I like my brownies to be fudgy and they say that these are fudge brownies. So come on over. This is what they look like. Let's pull them out. See their thickness. I put a little bit kosher salt on it because I kind of tasted it from the side of it. And I thought they were a little sweet. Alright, so let's try the corner piece. Hafsa and I are going to try it. Corner piece is my favorite piece. Comment down below if you're um, centerpiece people or... Corner piece, people. <laughs> I'm glad I put the salt. There's a weird taste. You know? Like flour, though. 
Also, I think we're used to more of like a dark chocolate flavor. Hmm? Mm. Like a richer... Yeah, the, co- the chocolate flavor is not really there. The texture is really good. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not cakey at all. Yeah, and if you want to do a close-up... It says on the box that if you'd like a thicker brownie, then use um, a smaller pan. So, so, whatever you prefer. This is the cross section. It's nice and fudgy in between. It's got a decent crack top on the top. Um, it didn't burn, so for me, 15 minutes is ideal. Um, yeah, so it's great that way. But I think in terms of the depth of flavor and the richness of the cocoa or chocolate, it's lacking there. It's not bad. I wouldn't say like it's bad and you should get it. You should try it out. But if you have a good brownie recipe or if you just like using brown, I actually prefer the Betty Crocker brownies to this. Um, yeah, so we'll try the third one and we'll... the third and final product from Bakersfield, which is the Molten Lava Cake. Now we will decide that this is the Molten Lava Cake, is the way, how it is, if it's easy to make, if it tastes good. And at the end of it, we'll rate the cake which is the best and the least best. Tha. So come on over, we'll see how Molten Lava Cakes are made. Again, this packaging is a little bit. When I bought it, it was crushed. Okay, let's see what it is. It's crushed. It's crushed. It's crushed. It's crushed. इसके पीछे इन्होंने लिखा है कि इसमें दो अंडे चाहिए और हाफ अ कप ऑफ वेजिटेबल ऑयल अवन मैंने प्री हीट कर दिया है इसमें साथ में इन्होंने फॉइल कप्स दिए हैं मोल्टन लावा केक बनाने के लिए तो इसको खोल के देखते हैं अगर तो वो उसी में बना के देखेंगे ताकि आप लोग जिनके पास रामकिन नहीं है वो आसानी से बना सकें मेरे पास वैसे रामकिन हैं क्या करें दो रामकिन में बनाते हैं और दो कैसे बनाते हैं इसकी फॉइल में इनकी फॉइल कप्स हैं This is nice. I think this is a good idea कि उन्होंने ये साथ में ये दिए हुए हैं अच्छा ठीक है सो ये इनके साथ जो कप्स आए हैं मुझे बहुत छोटे लग रहे हैं नॉर्मली जो मोटर लावा केक का ये साइज नहीं है तो कप केक के फॉयल टिन या मफिन के लग रहे हैं सो जस्ट टू शो यू गोइंग ट्राई वन ऑफ दीज लेकिन आई एम गोइंग टू गो ऑल्सो विद द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड विच इज़ यूजिंग अ रामकिन जो इसको ये सरामिक होल्स को कहते हैं जो अवन प्रूफ होते हैं और आई एव ऑलरेडी ग्रीस दैम एंड coated them like a light dusting of cocoa powder which is the traditional method of the packet mixture is in here is my major oil will on it to add in one egg at a time I've made a molten lava cakes I think two or three times before and it is always very exciting when it comes running out maybe I will share my recipe and until then we're going to do this quick version although to be honest it doesn't take that long arm workout all right so it says stir until until very well combined so you want to look like you what you get so it's my darling you know man it's going to spoon it out they haven't really said ki kitna dalna chahiye so i'm just gonna fill it up till there So we have them on our baking tray and our sample foil cup wali is there too and it's ready to go in the oven. Okay, so I realized I made a mis- mistake. We're making these at quarter to 12 or abhi um we're like in the middle of the winter as you can see. Ab to yahan gas ki load shedding ho rahi hai aur jo oven hai wo 200 degrees tak nahi pahuncha hai so I don't know how long we'll have to bake them. It says seven to ten minutes, and I'm scared that they will not turn out to be molten lava cakes, but something else because they're going to take much longer. So, wish me luck. But in ye hai ke if it doesn't turn out like if it doesn't turn out right, then that's kind of you know sweet gas's fault. No one else. Okay, so you guys, instead of ten minutes, this took almost forty minutes. और बाकी अभी तक नहीं हुए हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डैम गैस इशू ये देखें इसका अभी तक इट्स क्वाइट वेट टू वन ऑफ दीज आउट ये वाला थोड़ा सा फिर भी बेहतर है इट्स दट मोमेंट ऑफ ट्रूथ कि अगर ये होता है कि नहीं थोड़ी सी 
आइसक्रीम डालते हैं ओए फेल जस्ट लाइक दिस लेट्स सी यू आर राइट इट डिट रियली यूज आउट ट्राई दे अदर वन इसको टेस्ट करते हैं बेटर आउट लाइक लावा बट इट डज हैव अ गुई सेंटर As you can see, there's a gooey center in between. Let's test it out. We have some ice cream here. I guess with the ice cream, it's a little better. I'm not too fond of their chocolate. This is what I was worried about. So I think it's microwave microwave cake. Just as the taste are, and. I mean I don't know if that that doesn't have to do with the baking obviously that's with the formula that they used honestly not my favorite it's the same thing as the cocoa the um the cocoa taste that was in the brownies it's very different do you prefer the brownies or this the brownies my favorite was the chocolate chip cookies number 2 would be the brownies and this would be on the bottom of my list Other than the whole baking issue aside, this is, I didn't really enjoy this. I think you can make a much better version on your own of actually all three things. But um, I think if you're not baking, then this this is not a bad option to use. Uh, especially the cookies, they're not bad at all. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please make sure to like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.